Before we get started, will you please rate this video, leave your comments as the video plays, and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content we'll be talking about. Will you be a hag or a crone when you grow up? Let us the begin. Spiritual hours. And so, since we running into the spiritual hours, coming out of the Venus Day, going into Saturn's Day, so we talking about love, we'll be talking about stability. Earth to earth, okay? A lot of stability going on here. We also talk about love and beauty. But we're leaving out of love and beauty and going to a more masculine aspect of, you know, the earth energy. And since it's a Saturn day, Saturn oftentimes brings lessons, right? That's what Saturn's known for, whooping ass. Why is he known for this? Because Saturn is also good for passing out rewards. But you have people who either don't appreciate their rewards or they don't um, learn their lessons. So they take a bunch of ass whoopers. So... Going with the energy of Saturn during these spiritual hours. Spiritual hours come right after the witches' hours. Spiritual hours start at the darkest part of the night. The darkest part of the night is two hours before the sun rises. Pick that jewel up. Pick it up. Apply it. Anyway, a lot of your downloads from your higher self will come during those hours. All right? So, especially if you've been doing some work, you did some work during the witch's hour, you know, if it's, if it's going to be an immediate, you know, result, you, you will get that download, you know, within the next couple of hours after the witch's hour. But anyway, that's not the topic of this video. Just giving y'all some info topic of this video is the difference between a crone and a hag. And the thing about the crone and the hag is a lot of people think a crone and a hag is the same thing. You know, basically these are your old witches. For those of you that know me, y'all know I ain't too fond about that term witch. Your old female occultists. We're going to talk about women because I don't know too much about the men and what they do. It ain't too much of my business. <clears throat> but hags and crones are always older women. These are old women that have been in the craft for a while. They have developed a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. Okay. Um but there's a slight difference between the two. Most people think these things are synonymous. They are not. A crone and a hag are the same in the fact that they both practice the craft or they are into occultism. That is where they are similar. That's where they connect it. Remember, everything is connected. So there is a connection, but there's also a few degrees of separation between the two. Degrees are very important because different things can happen at different degrees, okay? Now, <sighs> crones and hags are both wise women. They are very knowledgeable. They possess a lot of knowledge. They possess a lot of things. A crone would typically be an older woman that has actually done all the work. Well, I ain't gonna say all. This is like, do any of us ever complete all of our work? Some do, you know, or I would like to think that some do. But, um, what about, oh, that's what I was saying. There are some crones they have basically done the work on themselves throughout their lifetime to cultivate what they need. And didn't allow the things that they went 
through to harden them and keep them hardened to where they develop a lot of malice, hate, and distrust of the world. They didn't do so much um, dark work that they got to the point where they couldn't trust humanity anymore. You know, that's not how they, you know, live their craft. The hag, on the other hand, the hag is a person that practiced the craft but didn't quite learn the lessons, right? So because they didn't learn the lessons, life was real hard for them, and it was hard for them for a long time. Eventually what you find with a hag is she's often alone. And that's not to say that there aren't crones that are alone. There are some crones that are perfectly happy alone. They never had no children, and they are content with it. They want to be by themselves. They're happy people. The hag, on the other hand, is alone out of, one, life choices, two, necessity. She has to be alone. As I said earlier, she has to be alone because she is such a very jaded perspective on humanity that she simply can't be around people. No, there's no trust there. There's no love there um, because she's so deep set in her ways and never tries to evolve to get out of those ways. She She can't really be flexible enough to actually cultivate meaning meaning relationships with people. And one indication between a crone and a hag you will very see is very physical. So you will look at these um, older witches, for lack of a better term, you look at these older witches, and some of them are gorgeous. And then you have some that are just ate up. So let's take you back. You remember, who was it? Sleeping Beauty? You know, the witch. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? And she was good. Until another young lady showed up. <laughs> Y'all got to watch these hags, young women. You got to watch these hags. Another young lady showed up. And the mirror told her that this woman was prettier than she was. Now, I would like to believe that prior to this mirror telling her that this young lady was prettier than her, this particular witch was... <clears throat> perhaps going into crone status. Because to be fair, it's not just about your outward appearance. It's also about the beauty beauty, excuse me, that you cultivate within yourself. And Snow White comes through. She got butterflies landing on her finger. Now I don't know about y'all, but if a butterfly even come laying next to me. I'm excited as hell because, you know, it's not easy to catch a butterfly, let alone a butterfly come to you and just kick it with you. That butterfly is sitting on her finger. She's singing and the birds are singing with her, you know. Beautiful soul. Beautiful soul. So, that witch didn't like that. And I believe at that point, she became so jaded and obsessed with being the fairest in the land, she turned her own self into a hag. I said all of this to say, you will notice a lot of these hags by the way they look. You will be like, what in the hell? How do you practice the craft and this is what you look like? This is because all that nastiness that's inside of them is starting to come out. You know, when you get to that point and you so deep-seated in that shit, you get to a point where 
So not all, okay? Because there are some great hags that are great illusionists. Maybe they will put a wig and some makeup on and fool you into thinking that they got their beauty. I got to watch these people. All these glamour witches out here, a lot of them is hags in the making. You want to be careful who you're working with now. So you got all these women, these older women out here getting this training, they status to be a, 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 a damn hag. And some of them, they always been hags in the making. Yeah, if you get into the craft and you don't do that inner work, you want to be a hag when you get older. They often are very nasty. They do not like younger women. They damn sure don't like younger women that express the same amount or greater wisdom than they do. Y'all got to be careful with some of these older witches, you younger witches out here. When I say younger witches, I'm talking about teenage, late 20s, even in your 30s. Um, some of y'all in y'all 40s, y'all got to watch some of these older witches because they turning into hags and they don't like your young ass. They don't like you because you still have time and you still have the flexibility to make adjustments to your life and they are so deep seated in their shit and they don't feel they have enough time to get themselves out of the shit. So there is a little bit of jealousy or enviousness that is there from them. Okay? All of these things, all of these issues that you let plague you, that you carry around inside your soul and never try to work on or try to ignore, never even acknowledge, you know, or try to, you know, fix it. It, it eats on you, it starts to manifest. And then a lot of times, one of the key signs is to look at them. They all got the same look, if y'all ever notice. All of these eggs <laughs> have the same Look, it's almost like a, somebody cookie cutter cut it them out. You know, they all have they all look very similar. Like they look very similar to these witches. Like you know, the witch from Snow White looks just like the witch um, from um, the Wizard of Oz. You know, they they all have similar looks. Okay. So, I mean, open your eyes. You'll be able to identify them. You'll be able to see them. You can also tell those hags that have realized that they are hags or not comfortable with hags because you got some hags. Them motherfuckers just mean. And if you're going to fuck with a hag, that's the type of hag you want to fuck with. That motherfucker doesn't accept it, who she is. She okay with who she is. And fuck you and anybody else. And bitch, I mean, and that's just what the fuck it is. If that's a, if it, if if you gonna deal with a hag, that's the one you want to deal with. They still mean as hell, but they don't have any problem teaching you, okay? Because they know, hey, well, you know, I mean as hell because I feel away. So whatever it is, what it is, and you know, realistically. Shit, somebody got to keep this shit moving. That's the one you want to deal with because to a certain level, they have worked on themselves. They just accepted themselves. Um, then you have those who, um, they just, they they are in the beginning stages of working on themselves. You can still see the hag look on them. It's just not as pronounced. That's the one that's working on herself. You can deal with her. If you willing to pull up with everybody else's shit, you can put up with her shit. And then there's those that just, they don't work on nothing. They just rude, mean, and nasty, and all of that. And, and that's all they ever going to be. But the crown, the crown is just seasoned. And she's very wise. Not only is she wise, she has great discernment. And she's able to almost be like 
a great mentor or a really great mother figure, okay? Um, that's not to say she wants to be your mother figure. Like, so, you know, don't don't approach them like that because it's shit. A lot of them don't want to be bothered like that, but they, these women are different. These women, these are women that can actually give you advice, want to give you advice about how you can help cultivate yourself, mostly so you can avoid some of the pitfalls that they may have walked into or even not even avoid it, just let you know and let you be aware that, you know, hey, this is coming, get prepared for it. These are crones, okay? So there is a difference between the hag and the crone. So it's just a little bit of stuff that's just not being talked about. Um, You can't, you can, but there are women They get angry at other women, especially women such as myself, who's going to tell the truth about the state of womanhood and the things that are going on. And I get very, 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 very upset. And this is because they don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to see the issues that they have caused. They don't want to um they don't want to fix the things that they have done, okay? And you know, that's that's not a great place to be, especially if you practice in the craft. Not only does it isolate you from other people, it's gonna keep you isolated from other people. It's gonna keep you isolated from the things that you want. A lot of these people that are basically hags and training or actually hags that are that way because they, you know, never obtain the things that they wanted. They let it make them become bitter, you know, and as long as you have breath, there's a chance, there is hope, there is faith, you know. Faith is a very big part of our craft, of our working, you know. You you have to believe in what you're doing and, then, and execute it. You know, and if you're not working to cultivate that, that, that can jade you. That can very well jade you. So, I mean, you know, you have to think long term. If this is the path you choose and you choose to walk it, when you come toward the end of your time span as far as age goes, what do you want to be? Do you want to be the head? Do you want to be the crown? Because there is a difference. And I'm not saying either is right or either is wrong. But there are women out here who do not want to live that crone lifestyle. But they are making, I mean, they don't want to live the hag lifestyle. But they are making choices that are going to land them in the position of being a hag. You know? So, uh, y'all ponder that. Leave your comments, your thoughts. I love to hear what y'all got to say. And I think I'm done for now. So, y'all have a beautiful Saturn today. And uh, we'll see you next time. We got to listen. Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light.